So when you're doing SEO, and you're starting off doing SEO in your website, one of the things that causes some concern is the potential for getting hit by some kind of penalty or for going awry of Google's rules. So let's talk a little bit about some of those rules and, and some of the ways people do get, get into trouble when they get a little bit aggressive on their SEO. So one of the things that people sometimes do is they will get really aggressive in terms of the number of links that they're creating to their website. Yes, links will help you rank as long as they're high quality, relevant links. But when you start getting links on websites that have nothing to do with you, for example, if you sell earrings and you're getting links off of jog jogging sites, that's not really a relevant link. If you get too many irrelevant links, if you start going into people's blog posts and spamming their blog uh, comments with links back to your site, if you get caught buying or selling links on your website, or if you hire somebody to do link building for you and they do it in a way that's just not above board, that's just not in the way that is helpful to Google searchers, then you could get hit by a penalty. For example, one of these penalties is called the penguin penalty. Now, one of the ways that you can get your site ranking in search engines for specific keywords is to create links back to your website that use the anchor text of the keyword you're trying to rank for. Now, the anchor text is that word that you click on in the link, the actual link words. And what people were doing, which is why Google created, created the penguin penalty, is they were creating thousands of links back to their website, all using the same anchor text because they wanted to rank for that number one keyword. So what this did is, is this obviously was encouraging spam to happen in order to help people rank better in search results. And that's not really what Google wants to encourage. So they created something called the penguin penalty. Basically, if you get too many links to your website, and it really has to be too many links. You're going to know when you have too many links to your website, all using the same keyword that's not your brand name over and over and over, then you might get hit by the penguin penalty. So one thing that you know to watch out for is when you're building links, a lot of your links should be to your brand name or should be to your URL. That should be the anchor text, the clickable words in the links back to your website. If you have far more links to keywords to your website than you have to your brand name, then you might be at risk of the penguin penalty. And what happens is you simply stop ranking for those keywords that you have too many links for. So don't go overboard. Always try to make sure that the links you're building into your website have actual value. Value, that somebody going from that website where you're getting the link to your website would actually say to themselves, oh, that's an interesting site I just found or an interesting store I just found. So that's one way to stay on the right side of Google's rules when it comes to link building. Now, when it comes to content, one of the problems that um, Google ran into a few years ago is uh, something called duplicate content. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's when content or text is copied on multiple different websites. So this used to be a big problem a few years ago when um, people were going to other people's websites, copying their content, putting it on their own website, and then ranking their own website using the stolen content. So obviously this was encouraging spam and Google doesn't want to encourage spam. So in 2011, Google started penalizing sites that publish content belonging to somebody else. So this is why it's important to write your own product descriptions. And this is why it's important to write unique content just for your store. Don't copy content published elsewhere, even if you have permission, because Google doesn't know you have permission. If you um, get uh, too much content on your website that's copied from other websites, then you might get hit by what's called the Panda update. Um, and uh, that's basically when your site struggles to rank for uh, some searches, simply because you have too much duplicate content on your site. Now, once we've 
got your site ranking, you've done the link building, you've built the content, you've done your meta tags, you've updated your title tags, you're starting to show up for searches, then you're, you need to measure whether or not your efforts are actually working. And that's why you should install some free tracking and analysis packages on your website to make sure that what you're doing is actually paying off. Because it's one thing to rank in search results for a keyword, but it's quite another thing to know that the people coming in from that keyword are actually purchasing from your store. So install free tools like Google Analytics, which will tell you how people are coming into your store and how much they're purchasing. Um, obviously use the tools provided in Shopify, but install Google Analytics as well to get some additional information. And one very important tool to install on your website is called Google Webmaster Tools. And again, this is a free tool as well. And what Google Webmaster Tools will do is it will give information that Google has about your store. So Google Webmaster Tools will tell you what keywords does Google think your website is relevant for? How many links are there to your, to your website? And the most interesting thing that Google will tell you is what searches did your website appear for in search results and what was your click-through rate? How many people actually clicked on your link when you appeared in search results? So using these tools, keep an eye on how many people are coming to your site from search results. Is it going up? Um, are you being effective in what you're doing? It's the current strategy you're using working. And keep an eye on your sales and look at things like the bounce rate on your website and the amount of time people are spending on your website. And keep striving to make happier visitors, happier customers to your store to make sure that Google keeps wanting to show your website in its search results.